Hi everyone, it's Tasman here from Tasman's Crochet Creations and for today's video I will be doing a review on some tension rings that I bought from Wish. So yeah, now we're going to do an unboxing and a review, well it's quite more like an unbagging, um, unbagging and review of tension rings for crochet or knitting, but in my case it'll be crochet. Um, so yeah. Let's, let's unbag this and let's review it. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is obviously open this thing up. So I am just going to... Oh, I actually don't need the scissors. Haha. <laughs> thought I needed the scissors, but clearly I did not. <laughs> okay, let's see what we have here. Nothing else in there? No. Okay. Okay. So let's see... Yeah, so I ordered four tension rings, so there should be four in here. Yeah, so it seems like there's four. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, so we have a snake one. Have a peacock one. A fish. This one is actually different than the one in the picture. This one's actually usable. And we have the snake. Oh, my bad. I got confused for a minute. So this is the snake. And then these two are the different types of uh, peacock ones. For some odd reason, I thought that this one was also <laughs> was the snake. For some odd reason. Okay, so let's get these out of their little baggies, they out of their little bags, and let's check them out, shall we? Ooh, okay, so this one's cool. So these are adjustable. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so that looks quite cool. Okay, so I think I'm going to try all of them on, and then I will test them out um afterwards okay so that's that one okay the first peacock one then we have the snake oh i actually quite like the look of this one i'm not gonna lie i think it actually looks quite dope it looks quite cool if i do say so myself okay so Hey, this looks actually quite cool. Okay, so wait, I think it would actually go on this way. Yeah, it would go on this way. This is actually so cool. I actually quite like these. Okay, so that's the snake one. So that's what it looks looks like. Okay, so that's the snake one done. Okay, then I'm going to go on to the second peacock one. Look at that. I really like the like red detail there for the eye. These are actually quite nice. I'm not going to lie. And the quality also looks quite good on these as well. They don't look like cheap or anything. They look quite durable. Okay, so there's that one done. And now for the fish. I am so excited about this one. I think it's because I've seen a lot of other reviews about um, this fish this fish one where it doesn't have the little hook thingy to use it. But if we look at this one, like if we look at this one, you can see that it has that like little hook and there's like an actual opening there so you can actually like slide it in. So yeah, I was quite worried that this one um, was not going to be um, useful. Um, but yeah, I really, really think that this will be, because look, it has a little hook there. In the pictures on Wish, um, it didn't have the little hook thingy, um, it just had this, like, little loop thingy. Um, so yeah, um, I'm actually really stoked with how this one looks. Actually, isn't that just cute? And I actually specifically like this because my boyfriend, he's a Parsis, 
so it's like yeah the fish really really means a lot if i can put it that way um so yeah okay so now we need to test this, these out with yarn and see how well these things these things work um because with me when i crochet i get um what would you call it i get yarn what would what, what would what would the word be um what would you call it like the yarn the yarn digs into my skin from like friction um yeah then like uh, then like yeah I, I often get left with like with like a mark or like an indent in my finger from from the yarn from and the friction so let's get some yarn and let's let's test this out shall we okay guys so i just have some like orange yarn here i don't know which side to put my ball of yarn okay so um let me get my crochet hook and let me make a slip knot um i don't know why but i'm actually so excited to like use this okay so i'm going to make a slip knot first of all okay and then let's test out the fish so you take the yarn or is it meant to go the other way is it meant to go this way no it's meant to go this way okay so you would kind of put it in through there and then in through the like little hook thingy if it can even go in ah there we go no oh no this thing just pops out oh man just not putting it in properly okay let's let's try this again Ugh. no oh that is disappointing that is so disappointing. Unless if I maybe put it in the other way. Like this way, maybe. But then, like how? That just feels weird, that does not feel right. That does not feel right. Oh gosh, I think I got my hopes up. See, like if it could hook on, like, I don't know if this is how it's meant to be used. Yo, well, this is, this is something I'm going to have to get used to. Using these things. Okay, so I normally wrap it around my finger. Yeah, so I don't know, like, let's try this, let's chain a few chains, oopsie. See how it just kind of, I mean, I guess this, this could work like this. I just have to kind of, like, keep on pulling the yarn. so i don't think that this one is gonna work i mean i mean it could i don't know it could somewhat work like this i mean i guess it could but like then like the only thing is that like you have to constantly stop what you're doing to pull on your yarn I don't know about this one okay let's test um let's test a different one okay so let's test this peacock one now so i'm just gonna slide it on okay and then i'm just gonna slide this in Ok, 
Yeah, this one works nicely. Look at that. Look at how how just how nicely it just flows. Yeah, I could deal with this one. Yeah, I can deal with that one. Okay. Now for the snaky one. So I quite like this one. Okay, so it goes on this way. Okay, so let's see. So feed it through here. And then up through here. Okay, um, even with this one, I feel like I have to, um, it feels like I have to, like, constantly, like, I don't know if it's just because of how tight the ring is on here. Yeah, I see, I have to keep pulling my yarn to feed, um, to feed it, unless maybe I have to, maybe bring it to, like, down here, maybe. Okay, let's, let's try this out. So maybe it must go like down there. No, you see how it just like just slides up to the top. Yeah, I have to keep like feeding it out of this ring. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure about this this tension ring, this snake one. It just like keeps getting like caught. Um, it just like keeps getting caught on the, on the material, on the material, it just keeps on like, like creating friction on the material. If the whole thing was smooth, like maybe the bottom here, then it would work wonders, I think. But because of all of the grooves and everything, it, it like causes friction, I think, and it just, yeah. Okay, well that's a little bit of a bummer with that one too. And now for the last peacock. Okay, let's see. Yo, this is... I'm not used to using these things. Okay, this one's nice. Again, this one just flows. And I'm like getting the correct tension here. Um, yeah, like this one really just flows. Look at that tension. Look at how neat that is. Yeah, like literally getting like the right, the right tension. Which is like perfect. Yeah, like, look at that. Okay, well, I'm happy with two out of the four. But yeah, I'm, I don't know, I'm still not quite... Yeah, so this peacock one has passed the test. Um, but again, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not sure about these two. 
um, about the fish and and the snake. Let's test this again and let's see. Yeah, this is not going to work. If only this like little hook could be like up here. Or if this was like open here. So if there was like a gap between like like the top fin and the, the tail fin. Then it would work perfectly I think. Or this could be just used as like a little just decorative ring. I guess. I don't know. So, yeah, I'm not happy with, with that one. And not happy with the snake. Yeah. I'm not happy with the snake it's just it's too tight it doesn't flow nicely um yeah just just does not work well at all and that's if i try it again like this way nope even then it just No. No. Okay. So this the these two just aren't working for me. But these two are really really nice though. They are so smooth and they're so nice. Okay. Now to review this. Now to give my my five star rating. Okay guys, so now it's time to rate rate these rings and I'm going to rate them out of my um, Attachment Special Creations rating. Um, so this first peacock one, 5 out of 5. The snake, 1. Okay guys, so I'm actually going to stop myself right there. Because shortly after doing this review, the snake ring, tension ring, actually broke in my hands. I was trying to adjust it, and it actually snapped. So, yeah. This tension ring is getting a 0 out of 5 Tasman's Crochet Creations rating. One for looks, I guess. One for aesthetically a pleasing kind of, kind of thing. One. The fish. The fish. I really had high hopes for this one. Especially since it had like a little hook. Unlike the picture had. And with that I'm giving this also a 1. And lastly the last peacock. The last peacock. I am going to rate this 5 out of 5 rating. five out of five well at least i got at least i got like two working tension rings at least i'm happy with that i guess um but yeah the other two just just didn't work but anyway guys um i hope you guys enjoyed that review and um yeah I'm a bit disappointed with the fish, I'm not going to lie. I really thought it was going to work. But anyway, that is it for today's video, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this review. Please let me know what you think, if you guys also bought these products before, or if you've um, experienced any anything with these products. I'd like to know your experience or feedback in the comments below. Um, so yeah, that is it for the Tension Ring review. Um, thank you guys for watching and happy crocheting. Bye guys.